Hey, what's up, team? So I just watched Troy with Brad Pitt, and it was awesome, McLovin. So I'm going to give you guys a full-on synopsis of Troy with Brad Pitt and Eric Banana. Okay, so the movie starts out, we got King Agamemnon, who's like the king of all Greece. And he's trying to rule all city-states, and there's only one left, Thessaly. So he's challenging Thessaly to a full-on battle so he can conquer their ass. And the Thessalian king is like, you can't run the whole world, Agamemnon. It's too big, even for you. And he's like, <laughs> I don't want to see another massacre. Let's sell this the old-fashioned way. Your best versus my best. And he's like, if my man wins, and he's like, we'll leave Thessaly for good. So he's like, all right. And he calls out his dude. He's like, Boagrius! And Boagrius comes out. And this dude's like Stone Cold Steve Austin times two. And Agamemnon's like, impressive. And he calls out. He's like, Achilles! And Achilles doesn't come. And he's like, where is he? And, and the guy's like, dude, I think he's snoozing. And then the king, Thessalian king is like, Boagrius has this effect on many heroes, and he's like, careful who you insult, old king. So it's pretty juicy. Okay, so then this messenger kid rolls up on Achilles, and Achilles is sleeping nude in his tent with a couple of ladies. And he wakes him up, and Achilles is like, dude, I was having a good dream. Like, obviously. And he's like, oh, my bad. Like, this looks nice, but there's a battle going on, and they requested you. And he's like, whatever. And so the messenger kid is like, dude, this Boagrius dude is like friggin' huge. Like, I wouldn't want to fight him. And he's like, yeah, that's why no one will remember your name. And uh, it's a pretty big burn on this just little kid, but that's Achilles. And so Achilles rolls up, and Agamemnon's like, dude, where were you? And he's like, you're not my king. Suck it. And he's like, can you just fight this dude? And he's like, yeah, whatever. So the battle begins, and Achilles starts running toward this dude, and Boagrius throws two big spears at him, but Achilles dodges them easily, and in just one blow, he like does like a jump move and puts his sword in his shoulder blade and kills him, and uh, it's, it's awesome, and uh, yeah. So then Achilles, super cocky, uh, is in front of the whole Thessalian army, and he's like, is there no one else? And the king's like, dude, who are you? And he's like, Achilles, son of Peleus, freaking god, uh, mortal god is dead, RIP dad, and uh, and he's like, dude, have this scepter. It's the ruler of Thessaly. And he's like, I told you, Agamemnon is not my king. I was just having fun. And he's like, okay. So then we meet Prince Hector and Prince Paris. Uh, two princes of Troy, Eric Banana and Orlando Bloom. And they're with the Spartan king Menelaus. And they're securing a peace treaty uh, with him, which is supposed to be pretty epic. But Paris just only you know is like a super horny dude and he can only think about Menelaus's wife Helen and he follows her up to her place and he gets up to her place and he's like what up Helen she's like you're this is a mistake and he's like <laughs> yeah so Paris and Helen bone and we don't see it but it seems pretty steamy and then he's getting all romantic he's like here have some pearls from the sea Propontis and she's like nice I think I love you and he's like yeah me too you should come to uh Troy with me, we'll like hunt deer. And so he's saying all this cheesy shit. And she's like, oh, and he's like, just do it. And then we see Hector and Paris are on a ship back to Troy. And Paris is like to Hector, Eric Banana, he's like, dude, would you protect me against any enemy? Like, do you love me, brother? And he's like, why do you always say this weird shit? Like, you fucking weirdo? Like, what'd you do now? And he's like, dude, check this out. So they go to the bottom of the ship and he shows him Helen of Sparta. He stole her from Menelaus. And he's like, oh, you Renov, always thinking with your dong. What about our dad, King Priam? What about Troy? You just betrayed Troy. They're going to go to war with us. And he's like, whatever, dude. I love her. And he's like, oh, idiot. So Menelaus goes to his brother Agamemnon, and he's like, dude, they stole my wife. I want to fuck him up. And he's like, will you go to war with me? And Agamemnon, who's like always wanted to conquer Troy, he's like, fuck yeah, dude. So... They just had to go to war. He's like, I'm going to assemble a huge-ass army. And then Agamemnon's advisor is like, but you got you to gotta bring Achilles. And he's like, oh, yeah, you're right. So he sends Odysseus to go to Achilles to convince him. And Achilles is like, fight for Agamemnon again? That dude's a knob. I don't want to do that. And he's like, but fight for Greece. And he's like, that's a good point. And so Achilles is still contemplating it. goes to his mom, who's a sea nymph. Uh, what up? And she's like, well, if you stay, you'll find a nice home in Larissa. You'll find a nice wife. It'll be pretty chill. But if you go, 
your name will be remembered through the ages, but your glory walks hand in hand with your doom. And he's like, I'm going to go. I want glory. So, yeah. So then we go back to Troy and King Priam, the head of Troy, is like, Paris, you stole Menelaus's wife? And he's like, yeah, I love her. And he's like, yeah, always thinking with your dong. Nice. And then he's like, but it's the will of the gods. So they prepare to go to war. And then we see the Greek army coming. It's like a thousand ships cruising. And uh, and then Achilles is in front because he wants the glory. So he's cruising at the front. He gets to the beach first and just like destroys all these Trojan dudes, just conquers the beach. It's so awesome. He's just like swinging his sword around, goes up to the um, palace of Apollo or whatever you call it. And uh, kills everyone in there and chops the head off Apollo, which honestly I didn't think was that cool because I like Apollo. But, you know, uh, Achilles is just full on just, you know, testosterone. And uh, and then he conquers Troy and Hector sees it and he's like, oh, crap, that dude is a beast. It's Brad Pitt. So Achilles and Hector meet and Achilles is like, I came here for glory. And he's like, but what about all these dudes you're killing? And he's like... This is more important than that. And he's like, you know what, Prince Hector? Like, go eat some grapes, bone your wife. We'll have our war tomorrow. And then uh, Agamemnon takes all the credit for the victory on the beach. And Achilles is like, dude, I won that shit. And he's like, whatever. And then on top of that, Agamemnon stole a priestess of Apollo. And Achilles is like, ew, dude, you, you, you suck. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> whatever. And uh, yeah, so then... Uh, I got lost. One second. Okay, we're back. So Achilles is like, you know what? Agamemnon blows. I'm not going to fight anymore. He's a Renob. I'm going to get hammered. So he does that. And then the people of Troy are like meeting and, and they're like, how do we beat these dudes? And then Paris is like, I'll just challenge men allows to fight. Like it's, it's a dispute between two men. And so he's going to do that. So the Greek army comes to Troy the next day to battle them, and Achilles challenges Menelaus to a fight. And so they start fighting, and Menelaus is like a huge dude. He loves war, and in Paris is honestly like, you know, he definitely doesn't do legs. That's all I can say. And so Menelaus just basically destroys him. He's about to kill him. And he's like, see the crows? They've never tasted prince before. And he's like, oh, crap, I'm way in over my head. So he runs away like a coward, and Menelaus chases after him. But then Hector... Is like, he's my brother. And so Menelaus is like, whatever. But then Hector kills him. And Agamemnon's pissed because Hector just killed his brother. So he charges. But then there's archers on the Trojan walls because Troy is surrounded by walls. So they just shoot arrows at uh, the, the Greek army and just destroys them. And then Hector kills this king, Ajax. And, you know, so it's devastating for the Greek army. And they have to retreat, which is like the first time they've done that. So... Agamemnon is pretty devastated and the Trojans are like we need to keep charging and own these dudes and Agamemnon's like I can't run away like these dudes are uh, I can't be defeated and he's like so yeah it's the Greek army's pretty low right now meanwhile Achilles has fallen in love with this priestess of Apollo Perseus and so he's just like full on in love and so it looks pretty bad for the Greek army yeah so the uh, Trojan army decides to charge at the Greeks on the beach again at dawn patrol. And and then we see Achilles is running to fight. And they're like, oh, crap, Achilles, he's going to save us. So Achilles and Hector get into a fight. And everyone's watching. And then Hector slits his throat. And everyone's like, whoa, Achilles just got killed? And so Hector takes off his helmet. And it's not Achilles. It's Achilles' cousin, Petroclus. And he's like, oh, Oh, Doris, and he's just like choking him out. He's like, I'm gonna kill Hector. And so things aren't looking good for Hector. So Achilles goes to challenge Hector to a fight, and Hector kind of knows he's screwed because Achilles is such a badass. So he says later to his family, and they're like, Oh, dude. And it's super sad because Hector's a good dude. I like him. And then so Achilles is outside the walls, and he's challenging, he's like, Hector! Challenging to him to a fight. So Hector comes out, super brave, and he's like, uh, dude, just like, can you promise me this? Like, whoever dies, let's just have the proper funeral rituals. And he's like, and Achilles is like, there, there are no packs between lions and men. And Hector's like, oh, great. So they battle, and it's like the coolest fight ever. If you haven't seen it, check it. Like, Achilles versus Hector, YouTube it. It's so awesome. They're just like, you know, 
It's so sick. And then Achilles kills him. And to rub more salt in the wound, he ties Hector's rig to the back of his chariot and drags him around, which is like a huge faux pas because you want to give the bodies the proper funeral rituals so they can say what up to the river Styx. So King Priam's super sad to lose his son and he sneaks into Achilles' tent at night and he's like, dude, just let me bury my son properly. Like, what is your deal? And Achilles is like, yeah, I was super heated. Like, my bad, dude. So... Priam gets to bury his son, and Achilles is like, I'll give you 12 days funeral. And Agamemnon's like, what? You said we won't battle for 12 days? And he's like pissed, but he has to listen to it. And in the meantime, Odysseus has this idea. They're like, how are we going to defeat the Trojans and get into the wall? So he has the idea for the Trojan horse. Like, let's build the Trojan horse, act like we got the plague and bailed. So they build this Trojan horse, and then the the trojan army comes and they're like whoa they all died by the plague you know they probably weren't social distancing and um so they think they've won the battle but and then they bring the horse inside troy which is they shouldn't have done that and achilles in the meantime ordered his men to go home he's like i'm done with this battle whatever so at night all the greek soldiers come out of the horse and they just destroy troy it's super sad and then like Priam's like, have you no honor? And Agamemnon kills him. But then Perseus, the girl who Achilles fell in love with, gets captured by Agamemnon. And she's like, you almost lost this war for me. And then she kills him. Pretty awesome. And Achilles is running around Troy to save Perseus. And he, he grabs her. He's like, let's go. But then Paris, once again, Renob, who thinks he's courageous now because he has a bow and arrow. Dude fuck you, uh, shoots Achilles in the heel and kills him. And it, it makes me so mad. <sighs> Anyways. So, yeah, but then the Trojan, some Trojans escape, even though the Greeks won, but, like, everyone's dead at the end. It's a full-on tragedy. And, yeah. Whew. So, yeah, that's my uh, full-on synopsis of the movie Troy. It's super sick. Uh, check it out. And uh, what up to Brad Pitt? Uh, yeah.